here with Cross Country Coach Ward Barrett. Coach, coming off of your first real important uh, invitation of the year at uh, at St. Olaf, very good performance on the guys' side. They finished fifth overall, which is outstanding for them. Talk a little bit about their performance, and then uh, talk about the women as well. I say for the guys, fifth place is a good good starting for us. We had a that was first aid case, so a couple of freshmen. Didn't know what they're getting to. Aaron Haley performed actually really well for it. I was he landed in the top twenty on it of all time list for us. The guys still, I mean, they still have ways to go. They know it, and it's good news is we got a little bit lucky. But at the same point, we still need to improve too. They know it. We're we're getting ready to go. Women's side, half our front team is freshmen, so the six k was a little bit of a challenge for them to step up to. I think coming off it though, we got a lot of confidence coming off of coming off those races for both teams. You, you experience this every year, and we talked about it off camera. Talk a little bit about the adjustment. Coming from high school, they're not used to running on the women's side a 6K and on the guy's side an 8K. And really, on the guy's side, it's a big adjustment because the 8K is a little bit bigger. Mentally, how do you try and, and prepare them to realize that it's not as, as tough as they might think? On the women's side, it's actually a pretty easy transition to get them ready for it. Simply, we tell them to break it down into thirds. Two kilometers a section, it's a pretty easy breakdown for them. The 5K to 8K. That one's a little bit different. What we try and do is we try and target through six kilometers for the guys and then let see if they can hold on for the next two kilometers. It makes the race a little bit shorter for them. It's something that they can probably manage and understand at that point. Talk a little bit about the performance of your top two runners, David Feather and, and Peter Borash. Both had really great performances at the uh, at the St. Olaf Invitational. Both almost their collegiate bests. Is it is it too early for that or is that what you expect from them? Actually, it's almost ideal race condition, so it's not surprising to see fast times at this point. Weather was perfect, the course was hard, and it was a nice course layout. So to have fast times isn't that surprising for us. We're not that worried about it. Also, we haven't tapered a whole lot. I mean, we were training through it, so we're not worried that that's peak performance at that point. Friday uh, afternoon, you've got the, the No Limit Invitational here at St. Mary's. A year ago at this time when we talked, it was kind of like the coming out party for the guys. They had an outstanding mm -hmm. performance at this meet last year, and then from there just kind of took off, and it really – capped a, a pretty impressive season that they've really picked up on. Can you talk a little bit about the mentality? Because it really was their, their coming out party, so to speak, and they really just changed their whole mentality. Well, last year, I think they were a little surprised and they won the whole meet here. So from then, it was kind of that mentality, hey, we can be successful, we can do it. And from there, they've kept on building it. The summer training you've seen, they've put in, they've seen results for it, we've seen results of the last couple of meets. So for them, it was just a good leaping point for them. Obviously, we want to try and defend that, that uh, <laughs> That home meet victory, but we'll see. I mean, we still have to run well for that to happen. And how do you approach uh, how do you approach Friday's uh, meet on both sides, men and women? This time we're a little bit more tapered. We take this week is recovery week, so we are expecting a little bit better performances, a little bit more focus coming into it. And it's a home meet. I mean, you always want to perform well at your home meet, and that's always a little more exciting. Family's going to be there, friends are going to be there. We want to run well for them. We want to run well for ourselves. Friday Friday evening, four thirty with the women, and then five fifteen for the men here at St. Mary's. Good luck. Thank you.